Hello and welcome to a video about the new Dragon's Teeth weapons. So these have been available on the CTE servers for a while. So bear in mind that these guns are still in testing and might well get tweaked a bit. So the stats I'm going to give you might change. But the general gameplay and the recoil probably isn't going to change that much. Let's start with the Bulldog. This is the new assault rifle and it follows pretty much the same standard pattern when it comes to attachments as all the other assault rifles. So you've got close range scopes, medium range scopes, laser sights, torches, the normal barrel attachments and the normal grips. What makes the Bulldog interesting is this is essentially a close to medium range scar. So it's using the 34 to 25 damage model in under 12 meters I think it is it will do 34 damage and it will drop off to 25 so it's always going to be a four shot kill and this thing has almost no side to side recoil as you can see here it's an almost perfectly straight up and down even burst firing this thing you're going to get incredibly small groups so it's quite an easy weapon to use and it's hitting hard. Now it's firing at 700 rounds per minute so it's not particularly slow either. It's reload times, well they're 2.5 seconds to 3.2 seconds if you've got no bullets left. And as you can see, this thing is incredibly easy to control. And I think that's the best thing about this gun. And I think it's going to make it a hit especially on the consoles because it's a simple pull down on the stick to control all of this gun's recoil. Its only downsides is that it's got 21 maximum in the magazine but it is punching hard enough to kill in three shots close up, four shots at long range. So the magazine size isn't really that much of a drawback especially when you consider that 2.5 second reload, that's quick for what is a bullpup. So this has got the bullpup advantage of better accuracy when moving, but it hasn't really got the penalty of the reload time. So I really like this gun, and as you can see, even close up when you're facing Matimio, you can still get kills with this thing, just because three shots is dropping your opponent. So they may have an 800, 850 rounds per minute gun, but at 700 rounds per minute doing 34 damage, you can drop a lot of people. And because of its accuracy and lack of horizontal recoil, it's easy to get all those shots on target. And I think this is one of the guns that may well get tweaked before it's released. I think you will find they'll put some horizontal recoil on this thing because it is probably too good at the moment. Well too good's probably the wrong words to use. Let's say it's too easy to use at the moment. That's probably the main thing. It can make an average player like me look good. Next we have the MPX which is the new PDW and strangely this is comparable to the Bulldog. Now not in terms of range and damage but in terms of the way it shoots. MPX does 27 damage maximum down to 13. That 27 damage means that this PDW is going to kill even if you've got defensive perks on. And it's firing at 850 rounds per minute. Now the interesting thing about this gun is its recoil. Now there's a bit of side to side wiggle there. But that's a pretty good recoil pattern for something that's firing at 850 rounds per minute. And its burst fire is very good as well. Its drawback, it's got 25 in the magazine plus one. So it doesn't have all the rounds that a lot of the PDWs have. But I really like this gun. A lot of people don't like it. But that's quite a long range for a PDW and that was a really easy shot. This thing is probably the closest that you're going to get to a carbine in PDW form. And when you think of it like that, the 25 shot magazine isn't that much of a drawback. 
its reload speeds aren't bad 2.1 seconds with a round left 2.7 seconds with no rounds left so I can't really fault this PDW and again it's because of its ease of use if you compare it to the CZ3A1 yeah that can probably kill quicker but its recoil is a bit of a nightmare at range and shots like that with the CZ301 would be pretty tricky but with the MPX medium range combat becomes an option and so maybe they'll tweak this gun and again add a bit more side to side recoil maybe make it not quite so balanced the last of the primary guns is a CS5 sniper rifle and I'll say at the start this thing is horrible with that silencer on now even though it's an integrated silencer on the gun in the game you can actually take it off and that is what I recommend you do with this thing because with the silencer on it is awful so here you can see me using it with the silencer and just look at the bullet drop on this thing shooting across to the island where the standard sniper rifle isn't that hard with this thing it's dropping like a stone and its bullet velocity is awful with the silencer on it's firing at 300 meters per second that's a slower velocity than the MPX with the silencer off it's still only firing at 400 meters per second that's slower than the Bulldog so this is a close-up sniper rifle at anything above medium ranges this gun is crippled by its velocity and its drop even close in this thing will probably be dominated by the M40 hell the SRR61 is a better sniper rifle than this is close in these are the kind of ranges you have to use this gun and at these ranges why wouldn't you use a SCAR H or a DMR Yes, the one-shot kills are nice, but on fast-moving close-up targets, you're probably looking at a two-shot kill, and then you might as well use any other gun. So the first of two pistols in this expansion is the Deagle 44. And yes, they called it the Deagle. It's a Desert Eagle, but I guess there's probably a licensing issue. And this has got all the standard attachments of any pistol. Its recoil is pretty horrendous, to be fair, for a pistol. That thing in nine rounds is recoiling almost as much as the MPX. And to get it to put every round in the same place, you've got to fire this thing surprisingly slowly. It doesn't have a massive advantage in fire rate over the revolvers. The advantage it does have is the fact that it's got nine rounds. Its damage model is 56 down to 37.5. So like the big revolvers, it's a one-shot headshot kill close in, two shots to the body, three shots at range. The problem with this gun is its recoil. It will often jump off target, the recoil is that bad. But effectively this is a magnum with more shots and a faster reload at 2.7 seconds. 3.2 seconds if you're out of ammunition so it's good but it's not my favorite that honor goes to the unica 6 which is the other new pistol and this is a semi-automatic revolver so it loads in a cylinder like a revolver but there's no hammer to cock back it's literally firing off like a semi-automatic pistol and it does less damage at range than the deagle it's only doing 28 but close up it's doing 56 the same as the Desert Eagle and this gun has a much lower recoil pattern than the Deagle so this is six shots being fired off as fast as I can and it's got a slightly faster rate of fire than the Deagle at 230 and it's far easier to put all the rounds in the same place than the Deagle is as well as you can see it performs a lot better at least against the wall so close up one shot headshot. It does suffer from a typical revolver slow reload at 4.1 seconds, but I find this gun much easier to use than any of the other revolvers. 
there's no noticeable delay when firing it and its recoil means that it puts bullets in the same place twice. So this is much easier to use than any of the other one shot kill pistols. It may take four shots to kill at longer ranges whereas the Deagle only takes three but to be honest I'm not one of these people that tries sniping with my pistol. I want a pistol that can get me out of trouble and the Unica 6 can do that. So quick conclusions, the Unica 6, the Bulldog and the MPX all have decent recoil, all are hard hitting and all are easy to use. The CS5 is poor across the board I'll never be using that thing. As for the Deagle, if you can already cope with the Magnum, then the Deagle is its obvious replacement. I hope this gives you an idea of what the new guns are like if you haven't tried them yet, and thanks for watching.